whatever we are going to collect into this pot after covering it here is going to be alcohol guys but then what we're going to do is to put this water here on top to cool it so it can drip back you understand so this is basically to cool whatever heat is going to come from down there then it's going to drip back into that pot which is so me putting it down there and what is dripping down there oh guess what come and see guys come and see so as you can see that is our alcohol and oh i'm so happy she's an expert she's actually the one who taught me how to do this so she's going to sample this i want to see what it looks like ah oh, i did it guys <laughs> so that was it guys we just made our alcohol This right here is what I am going to pound and this is cassava which has been dried and then soaked in water for like three days. So the next thing right now is to pound. So after sleeping in the house for three days, you now bring it out and pound. So right now I am going to start pounding before I can sun dry it again and then um, start cooking start frying it because it is roasted actually I can say before I can start roasting let me just do this already
Right here is sorghum. I don't even know sorghum, but this is uh, 
we call it sorghum, whatever you call it in your language or if you have ever seen it before, feel free to let me know in the comment section as well. This is sorghum, so it is grinded and it turns to this, which is the flour made out of that sorghum. So this I mixed with what I roasted earlier on on the fire. That was the first thing I roasted it. I remember I roasted something and put it to cool. So it is that same thing which I mixed in this flour plus water. Kept it in the house. You're supposed to actually keep it in a house for like um, three days. It sleeps in the house. So basically this is what was already kept before. You understand what I roasted is still cooling down. So we are going to use that for the next day. So it's kept in the house for like three days and then from there it comes now to this. We put it on fire. So let's give it a minute here to heat up and then I'm going to show you what follows right after this. So guys, the thing has actually boiled and now what I'm going to do is to cover it up with this so that alcohol can actually drip down in this pot. Whatever we are going to collect into this pot after covering it here is going to be alcohol guys. But then what we're going to do is to put this water here on top to cool it so it can drip back. You understand? So this is basically to cool whatever heat is going to come from down there. Then it's going to drip back into that pot which is slowly putting it down there. And what is dripping down there is actually going to be alcohol. So let me cover it here and then leave it for some time to drip as well. So we can actually collect our alcohol. And guess what? This, it's actually a nice experience. It's very interesting, like I told you. I'm actually enjoying it. So. <laughs> I know you're enjoying the video too. But this, and then you might be wondering why I kept this damp, just to make sure it does not burn. Remember, there's a lot of heat coming from down there. So I have to keep the pot damp like this. putting it off already So as you can see, that is our alcohol and oh, I'm so happy. You see all that has just gone through. So what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to take it off into this saucepan here. I need it. So this right here is already alcohol. The local way we do it the natural way just like you saw me doing it from cassava right to this Guys, 
we just made our alcohol. I don't know if you guys have this in your cities right there where you're watching us from, but hey, you have something like this or even something similar. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section. And if this is your very first time you're watching anything from this channel, guys, please go ahead and subscribe as well. And please ensure that you turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss any single upload that we are going to be putting later on in this channel. And hey, thank you so much for watching. Um, but now, let me continue with the rest and this is enough at least i've shown you what i wanted to show you thank you very much for watching bye